on Cheryl St. Ange's website, her first album is called Calling the Birds Home. She photographs her mother who has dementia on their farm and she's doing childlike activities like making snow angels or drinking soda, blowing bubbles, and I thought it was a really beautiful way to capture her mother, especially because it is so hard to take care of people with dementia. So I felt like she uses it to connect with her with her audience and start a conversation and kind of also heal from things that she's been dealing with. She also doesn't do just people. She photographs journals and since she lives on the East Coast, she does take pictures of the coast and it's beautiful. She describes her photography as a collaboration between art and science. And she also uses a 8x10 view camera, which I didn't know what it was. It is one of those old school accordion type cameras. And I'm impressed that she can get crisp, sharp, clear pictures because these look like they were done with a digital camera. When I went to Zora J. Murph's website, I was surprised to see that it was a male and it was a black male who mainly takes pictures of social issues. On his website, there is a lot of range of what types of things he photographs. For example, the one on the left is of nature and it's a blurred visual, which kind of makes me a little dizzy. But then the one on the right is a Photoshop background of some stars with other different types of stars like celebrities. And I'm kind of interested on what kind of narrative he wants to explain here. This picture really stuck out at me as because I thought it was one picture, but it is a collage of four that he put together and it's it's hard to look at and I think it's a it's a great way to start a conversation. I really liked his album called Corrections on his website. It it was very interesting and there were some hard things to see and some confusing things. Um, it was also interesting to learn that he's not just a photographer but a professor. Um, like most of these artists, they don't just have one job of photographer. They are in other things as well. My last artist has an interesting take on what she did with some of her photographs. On the next slide you can see that she has writing which it looks like it's been photoshopped but it's actually her writing uh, almost superimposed on the film and then she takes the picture. So it was very interesting that this photo wasn't photoshopped. Um, also this one's called A Mormon House and being in Utah I'm very familiar with Mormonism and so a lot of her stories or her pictures tell stories that I'm interested to hear more about. This is another shot of where she had her writing um, and she took a self-portrait of herself and she's got a lot of these and I, I find it so cool that she doesn't use Photoshop which most artists are familiar with I would say. At first I thought this was just texture of the rock but it's another one of her writings that she did. On her website she does have a lot of travels and she does take pictures of them. And I believe this one was in Cambodia and the baby just looks so peaceful and snuggly and I would love to hear more about other cultures and artists really do bring that to life. It's interesting to see these photos. I'm really drawn to them. These black and white with her writing. I'd be interested in what she chose to write and which images she chose to pair them with. 